What's up guys, Jake Hilton from Fitness Culture. Today we're gonna to be going through a trainer of a leg workout that you would see in our athlete program in the Fitness Culture app. So the first thing that we're gonna to do today though, since I have a little bit of a lower back tweak, um, what I like to do is this set of four movements if I ever tweak my low back that I move through pretty quickly, super lightweight. Just try to pump some blood into my lower back before I get to lifting that day, get my core firing. Um, just so I know that I'm not gonna re-injure it, right? So I really wanna warm it up a lot before I get going for the day. So the first thing we got today, we're gonna roll through that. We're gonna do some hip extensions, some 90 degree back extensions, some reverse hypers, um, and then some leg lifts. We're gonna go through that three times, 15 reps each, and then we're gonna get into our kind of hip opening warm up for the day before we get into our leg day. Alright guys, now that we're done with the little low back, I call it low back durability circuit, um, we're going to be going into our movement prep, trying to open up our hips today. Uh, basically, before I do any leg day stuff, I really like to make sure that my hips, my ankles are mobile, uh, but today we're going to be focusing on the hips, right? So open them up, start get the glutes firing, get the groin firing, um, and just get ready for the day. So the, what we're going to do, we're going to be doing a mini band little circuit. We'll be doing some stuff on the sliders to prep our groin and open our hips. And then we're just gonna do some type of explosive movement to try to kind of fire up our central nervous system of the day to get us moving quick, right? So the first thing we got today, we're gonna be doing a little circuit with the band. We're gonna put the band around our knees. We're gonna be doing 10 each side of just a single leg fire hydrant. So the goal on these is to try to keep that knee pointed directly down your toe. Core's tight, and you're just gonna open up to the side, get a nice contraction in your glute, and then come back. All right, when you're done with that, we're gonna be going straight into some just banded monster walks. It's just a lateral walk with the band. Um, I like to do these, I see a lot of people doing them like this, and yeah, it's gonna fire your glute a little bit, but I like to do them in more of an athletic position. So, almost in a position, if you're playing linebacker on the field, keep a nice wide stance the entire time, so I don't let my feet get too close together, just to keep the glutes firing, knees down the toes, and then from there, I'm just gonna take small steps, just like that. So once you've done that 10 steps, then we're gonna be doing just a four monster walk. So same thing, try to get a nice athletic stance. We're gonna stay at this level the entire time, knees down the toes, and we're gonna just do a big step, straight into the next step. The goal is to keep those boots firing, knees down the toe the entire time. Just gonna take 10 steps forward and then 10 steps back. We're gonna finish this little band part of our warm up with some prisoner squats. So you're gonna get in your squat position, hands behind the head, try to keep your back up, head looking forward. You're gonna drive out against that band, sink down deep, and then come back up. All right, next thing we got, we're gonna be doing just reverse lunge and reach. So we have a slider on this one. You put your foot on the slider. The goal here is to think of it like a single leg squat and the back leg's just gonna be the guide. But really what you wanna do is focus on extending that leg, squeezing your glute, keeping that back leg straight. And that's gonna open up your hip all the way through right here. So you don't wanna put a bunch of weight on your back foot or it's gonna be hard to come back up. Put that weight on the front foot, boot tight. Sink down, reach up, and back up. Just gonna do five each leg. Last thing we got for our warm today is gonna be just a groin prep on the sliders, kneeling. So you're gonna slide out until you feel some tension in your hips, and then just squeeze back in. Feel some good activation in your groin here. 
and it will open up your hips at the bottom. All right, I lied. The last thing we actually got is just gonna be our more explosive movement. So we're just gonna do um, a knee jump. So we're gonna come from our knees, hip extended, bend like you're in a vertical jump, and then pop up, get hip extension, land on our feet. Right here. Just like that. It's five reps here. All right guys, first thing we got today is gonna be a power snatch right below the knee, starting from a box position. So what that's gonna do um, is obviously we're gonna start higher up in the snatch in a static position, which since we're not gonna have that stretch reflex or we're not gonna have that momentum from pulling from the floor, it's gonna really cause us to have to really achieve full extension before we drop under it to catch it in a nice high power snatch catch. Guys, the first thing we got today is gonna to be five sets of five. We're just gonna be doing a box squat. So today on the box squat, we're gonna go decently wide stance and try to make this movement a little bit more posterior chain dominant. So we're gonna be pushing back onto the box, getting it, uh, a lot of weight pushed back into our hips, sitting on the box, and then exploding up from there. I mean, so you'll notice even in our build up sets, we're gonna be trying to go as fast as possible off the box. And then obviously we're gonna let the weight slow us down. So. One thing that I've learned over the years, one of the best ways to get stronger is to move as fast as possible during the concentric for every rep that you do. I mean, obviously, if you're warming up with 135, you don't need to do that. But once you start getting into your sets that are a little bit heavier, um, always move fast on the concentric. Let the weight slow you down. Let fatigue slow you down. That's the best way. Or one of the, For me, that was when I started just breaking through plateaus and my strength started to increase week over week. Next thing we got today is gonna to be, um, well on the program it's reverse lunges, but me and Brennan just like to do stupid shit when we're working out together. So we have to compete a little bit. So we're gonna be doing um, an overhead reverse lunge. So we're gonna pop the weight up overhead. It's just gonna, it's a little bit more fun. Cause you to stabilize with your core and your shoulders a little bit. Um, so we're gonna kind of see who can go the heaviest for six on each leg. And then we're gonna be supersetting that with a single leg sliding hamstring curl. So we'll show you that when we get over there. Last thing we got today, we're gonna to be doing just a quick tricep. We're gonna be, so we're gonna go 10 each leg, uh, just a single leg barbell RDL. So on these, you wanna focus really, just like a normal RDL where you crack the knees and really push back the hips, keep your back straight. We're just gonna go single leg, crack the knee, try to keep our body in a straight line at the top. Keep our back toe pointed down if we can. Don't let it open up to the side like that. And we're just gonna be right here with the barbell. All right, 
So we'll go 10 each leg, then we're gonna be doing a glute ham raise for 10 reps, and then we're gonna go 10 reps each leg, just body weight, single leg calf raise. So we're gonna roll through this. We're not gonna be going as heavy because we're gonna go three sets, and we're gonna take a minute rest in between the tri sets. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout and you can use some of that in your training. I wouldn't recommend doing the overhead lunges unless you're experienced, that kind of thing. But it was, it was still fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, guys, if you like this stuff, this stuff, if you like this content, um, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let us know what kind of trainer you want us to cover next. Thanks for tuning in.